Say hi, June. <laughs> All right. Good morning, Nub Nation. This morning I am under the weather. Last night, <sighs> last night before bed, I had headache, body ache, couldn't even walk, so sore everywhere. I had a stomach ache, felt like I was gonna throw up. I feel better this morning. Hopefully, it's gonna pass really quickly, but. I'm stuffed up, so this must be some kind of weird cold that I have or something. And I was on vidIQ looking at some of my demographics, and my fan base is 93.8% male, 6.1% female. I just want to give a huge special thanks to that 6.1% of women watching my vlog every day. You guys absolutely rock. Thank you so much for showing the love. You're probably here for this doggy right here. June, you can't snarl at them. They're watching you. But whatever reason you're here, I just want to say thank you for watching. All right, I'm hopefully going to try to not be that sick and start the day. So good morning, guys. Hope you're living the dream. You. All right, here's the test. I'm not too bad. Pretty smoked though. <sighs> Breakfast of champs, four scrambled eggs, cinnamon raisin bagel, black coffee. Bart's begging. June's begging. You want food? Your turn. All right, guys. As sick as I am, I still have to head to the bank right now because Wells Fargo called me and said that I am overdrawn on my Wells Fargo account that I haven't used in over a year, but they felt it necessary to, you know, suck 12 bucks a month out because I wasn't using it like you guys don't have enough money all right let's go figure this out what the hell thank you very much take care i went into wells fargo pretty upset and came out pretty happy the woman that helped me in there her name's edna she hooked me up completely she's gonna take care of the claim she's gonna try to get all my money back into the positive call me tomorrow and close out my account with me very appreciative of that you know people are awesome they can change entire situations stoked thanks guys you. so what happened was vimeo plus charged my account after i had already canceled my vimeo plus so they tried to get 60 bucks from me when my wells fargo account that i haven't used in a year or more only had three dollars in it it went into the negative and then the bank tax on charges for that so it was up to 111 dollars in the negative just from one charge one fraudulent charge as they would call it hopefully by tomorrow i got it taken care of but I feel so sick, guys. Whole body's aching, and I got a headache, and I'm definitely sick, so heavy hitters. Jay, it's me. What is she doing? Shaking, because you scared. Go to beach. All right, guys. How you doing? I'm still feeling very much under the weather, but even as sick as I am, whew, I'm gonna try to snap out of it for about 15 minutes and give you guys the rundown on my surfboard quiver, what I ride in what conditions, and what I suggest for you guys. All right, let's kick it off with my most important quiver, my super brand surfboards. We're gonna kick it off first with the Everyday Driver. This is your super brand toy model.
have mine a little bit modifi modified for my own size. Just through ordering surfboards throughout your lifetime, you're gonna have to learn your own modifications and what boards and sizes and volume work for you. So here's my toy model. Shout out to all the boys who support me. This board is 6.0 by 19 and a half by 2 and 7 sixteenths, and it's 30.1 liters of volume. There's my special number. If you guys want to order a Ben Gravy model super brand toy. Now the toys your all around everyday driver. Um, as long as the waves are about three foot plus and there's speed out there, you're gonna want to ride this board. I ride it in Hurricane Surf in New Jersey. I rode it in Barbados when I was getting barreled. I ride it all up and down the East Coast. If Sebastian Inlet's big enough and wedging enough, I'll ride it there too, even when the waves are a little smaller. She actually performs really well in small waves, but also performs great in big surf. So go-to surfboard, the super brand toy, everyday driver. All right. Up next, we have the super brand pig dog model. They claim that this board is for traveling. I use it here in New Jersey for when the waves get really big and I have to thread the needle. It's a really driven surfboard, runs down the line very fast. It's a little bit shorter so you can get it into the tight pockets and drop in late. This board is 510 by 19 and a half by two and seven sixteenths. 29.9 liters of volume. Great board for hurricanes, great board for traveling abroad. I kind of actually wish I had this in Barbados. Great for surfing barrels and uh, yeah, very fast surfboard, but she also gets the turns down when you need her. This is the super brand unit model. This is your all around small wave board. My favorite time and place to ride the super brand unit. 5'9 by 20 and 3 eighths by 2 and 9 sixteenth, 31.9 liters of volume. My favorite place to ride this board is bringing Team Jetty in the summertime. When it's really small, but the waves have drive and power down the line, and you can actually get a lot of good sections. That is the fastest surfboard I've ever ridden. I actually rode it during Hurricane Hermine in Atlantic City when it was bombing. So I've surfed overhead barrels on that board and it held completely up. I actually kind of liked it because it was a little shorter and I could sneak into the barrels. And uh, yeah, it did justice for me. So stoked on the super brand unit. All right, last but not least in my super brand models is the super brand Vapors. This board is for mushy surf. And uh, pretty much gutless surf so I read this thing at the shop challenge it performed well in six inch surf with absolutely no power is your board that you're gonna want to usually ride like probably if you go up to Rhode Island or you know mushy summertime in New Jersey it's really good on flat sections maintain speed through flat waves and uh, yeah you ride this one a little smaller as well five ten and a half by 19.75 by two and four sixteenths and 29.5 liters of volume. So another pretty volume out board, small wave, super brand Vapors model. This is my old super brand toy. Same specifications as my other one, but this is the one that's all dinged up, banged up. Obviously you can see it's got no nose. This is the board that I ride on novelties. This is my go-to bay board. And uh, even with all the dings and all the water damage that she has, she's 
still holds up, still maintains speed, and I ride her at all novelties, so super fun. Wave Skater Pro. All right, as you guys know, these are pretty much boogie boards, and uh, the boys at Wave Skater Pro have, you know, hired me on to do some video work for them and uh, I've been really stoked on the product actually. I kind of came on thinking you know I'm gonna surf a boogie board it might work might kind of work but not really thinking it's gonna work that well but these things actually perform really well. I was getting some really good waves yesterday on the Chimera model and while I was in Florida I caught some waves on the Ghost Shark so shout out to Wave Skater Pro these things are super fun and uh yeah, perfect for the quiver. You gotta have one. Summertime fun. And uh, if you just feel like messing around. And of course, I have. I have one cat surf and one heritage surf shop. Eight foot softy lesson boards. I think everybody should have some lesson boards in their quiver. They're super fun for when the waves are really minuscule. And you know, I ride those things at novelties. I ride them when the waves are small. I take my GoPro out on them, have fun. They always float. Tons of volume. And if you take one of those things out, you're guaranteed to have fun. And if you have lesson boards, you can always teach a friend to surf. And as we know as surfers, learning how to surf is one of the best things that ever happened to us. So why not share the love, share the stoke. And uh, yeah, if you guys have any questions, hit me in the comments section below. But that's my basic quiver that I have in the back of my truck at all times. You never know what conditions you're going to get yourself into. So... Got to have a couple options to choose from. Shout out to Superbrand for all the love and support. Wave Skater Pro, thank you very much for all the love. I'm feeling pretty sick. Now I'm locked out. I'm feeling really sick and under the weather still, but hopefully I can rest it off for a little bit and catch up with you guys later tonight feeling a little bit better if I ever get back inside. But thank you guys for all the love. You guys have been amazing to me. I'm really excited to get over the sickness and keep moving forward with the vlog. I've been loving everything that we've been doing. And I've uh, just been having a lot of fun with it. Special delivery. Thanks, Mom. All right, guys. I'm going to lay back down on that couch to try to beat this sickness. <sighs> After my mom makes me help her install the printer. First of all, I have this thing pulled out, which I guess I'm not supposed to. Second of all, this doesn't fit in here. That's not right. What am I doing at all? That's just it, right there. No, don't, no, it doesn't That's go. That's it, yeah, it sits, it no, sticks it out, I promise you. No, it doesn't, there's no printer that ever does that. You owe 252, we owe $252 in practice. To who? Got off scot free, boys, I only had to pay the gov 252. <laughs> Suckers. All right, boys, laying here on the couch. Got a check from Superbrand. Just want to say thanks so much, boys. Thank you for all the love and support. These guys keeping me, keeping me in the water. So thank you, Superbrand, so much. The sickness is still upon me, guys. I'm trying to sleep it off so I can be killing it tomorrow. Thank you guys for all the love. I was sick, buddy. Are you sick? Are you sick? Watching Prison Break. Pretty good show, boys. Put that huge giant back. Should I put this under the house with the bag? All right, what's up, guys? I had no idea I was this sick. I just slept clear into the night. It's 8.30 p.m. I wanted to read a couple inboxes real quick. This is from Seamus on Snapchat. Hey, Ben, you're a legend, and there's no reason that you're not. You make me happy when I'm down, and you're way better at surfing than me. You're a legend. Keep doing what you're doing. From Seamus. Pronounce Seamus. I'm from New Jersey. Please include in the vlog. What's up, Seamus? Thank you so much for watching. I'm guessing that this is not Seamus, the moose. It's got to be another Seamus, but Seamus, you're the man, dude. I appreciate you writing. I appreciate you watching. I appreciate the love. Sorry, my answers are going to be a little cut short today because I'm so tired and, and sick. We got one from Steve's underscore one L-E. Ben, love your videos, bro. Found them yesterday and I haven't stopped watching. So inspiring to see you frothing over small waves. Reminds me what surfing is all about. Stay stoked, my friend. And if you ever make it to Southern California, hit me up. Steve, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I'm so beyond happy that I can make you stoked. I hope that I can still make some people stoked today after being so sick. But yeah, dude, that's what it's all about. Surfing is not about the size of the wave you're riding, not the board you're riding. It's about having fun. And we need to remember that, you know. A lot of people get caught up and they want to look as like pro as possible and like have the coolest board and only think it's cool to go out on when the waves are big and etc. But uh, dude, surfing is all about having fun. Who cares what everybody else thinks? Just go out there and have fun, dude. Life is so short, so you got to enjoy it. All right, guys, I'm beyond sick. 
I just want to say thank you for all the love. And I'm going to sleep this one off, so I'll see you guys in the morning for drinking coffee and talking shit. Good night. Thank you, Num Nation. I love you. All right, guys. I know I signed off the vlog already, but just wanted to mention this. Henry Film sent me a link to Surfline, and I just wanted to mention it because it's really sad. Teen surfer girl killed from shark attack in Western Australia, so... She was surfing at Wiley Bay, and she got attacked by a shark, and she died. This is really, really beyond sad. I mean, you hear about a lot of shark attacks on the East Coast in New Smyrna Beach, Florida, and a lot happened this summer, but nobody, I don't believe there was any casualties, so just want to extend some positive energy and some love out to her family, um, and uh, just pray for them to, like, you know, deal with it as best that they can. Um, I would ask that you guys do the same. I don't really know if there's anywhere where we can, like, send them love or anything like that, but as of right now, I think energy would just help. I think anything would really help in that type of a situation that's absolutely horrible. Head over to Surfline and check the story out and just, you know, pray for her family. I'm gonna go back to sleep. I had a long day of sleeping, and I'm still super sick, so I'll see you guys in the morning. I love you, W Nation. I love you, Nub Nation. I'll see you guys in the morning for drinking coffee and talking shit. Good night.